Limited space at the Austin Animal Center might lead to more dogs and cats being euthanized. That might come as a surprise to people who thought Austin would be no kill after the new facility opened just back in November. KXN's Chris Sadegi is live at that new facility where they will meet tonight about the amount of space they have and need. Chris? That's right, Robert. You have this beautiful new building. You have no kill status in the city of Austin. It leads to a misconception which makes the problem worse. People think that if a dog like Kiwi ends up at the center, it won't be put down. Now, 92% of the time that is true, but that number is becoming harder to maintain. For nearly six months, Tanner has sat here and he's waited and waited for someone to take him home. In fact, he's even begged for his life, but he might be a victim of a misconception. What people need to realize is no kill status always refers to the past. The term no kill can be a double edged sword. David Lundsted with the Austin Animal Advisory Commission says the city achieved no kill status in 2011 because more than 90% of the animals who ended up here came out alive. But the term no kill isn't a literal one. There's a common misconception that the animal shelter is totally no kill, and that's just not the the fact. Last month, 83 cats and dogs were euthanized, mostly due to their aggression or suffering. But as these kennels fill up, euthanizing animals becomes inevitable, even for a no-kill city. We uh, very much want the word out um, that that dogs are, are going to be killed for space. Lori Michelle is an animal advocate who thinks if people believe dogs like Tanner won't be put down, the chance of adoption decreases. And this brand spanking new building actually has 56 fewer kennels for big dogs than what they had at Town Lake. It was a little bit of a surprise when he found out that there was actually less space. That's why Tanner and company hope people realize that in order to be no kill at this center, it will take some more lifesavers. We really just want to get the word out we, that, uh, that adoptions are, are just, you know, a critical piece of, of ending the killing. And the commission will meet at 6 o'clock tonight to discuss the space issue. Now, the Old Town Lake Animal Center is being run by Austin Pets Alive for overflow, but developers have plans for the future of that property. That's why Kiwi and company need some adopters. We're live on the east side. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.